Hi eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thank you for coming back for another video. This is video number 266 and I'm going to share with you my top five women's clothing items to sell on eBay. I took a little poll on my Facebook group of 25,000 eBay sellers so um, I could see what people want and I had the overwhelming majority wanted videos about what to sell and then the second place topic was the right way to do eBay which I'm thrilled that you want to know this because I've been doing eBay a long time the rules constantly change and I am a stickler for the rules I've always tried to do it the right way following eBay policies not doing creative workarounds and that type of thing because I don't want to get suspended and I don't want you to either um, the third place choice was tutorials, how to do things. So I'm going to be focusing on those three types of videos going forward. So my top five women's clothing items to sell on eBay. And there's a cocktail of things that make up my top five. When you see articles or videos on how to do eBay and people are saying, um, you know, the best brands to sell, um, there's some qualifications you need to know before you make that list for yourself. First of all, can you even find these things in your area? You know, obviously the super high-end designer stuff is going to sell for the most, but if you're living in a more rural area and you're not near a city and you're not in a real cosmopolitan area where you have a lot of uh, wealth or a lot of these high-end brands showing up in your thrift stores, um, you can't sell those items. So it's got to be something you can actually find and it's got to be something you can actually afford to buy at the price it's being offered and flip for a good enough profit. So I know some of you live in areas where thrift store prices are very expensive and that's a problem for you is figuring out what you can buy at the price in your thrift store to actually flip for enough money to make it worth your time. So you've got to take all that into consideration when you're making up your own top five list. So these are my top five because they are findable, at least in my area. Um, and in other areas I've shopped in. So it, th this is not something that's so elusive you're never going to find it. And they're steady sellers. I've been selling these items through my entire eBay career starting in 2003. These are just things I automatically look for whenever I'm out. So they are proven to work for me. Also they are wardrobe staples. This They're not um, trends that come and go. They have stood the test of time so they're not a flash in the pan kind of fad. These are good solid items that sell all the time for a decent price. So the first item is the classic black Irish linen dress. Brands like Talbot's, J. Jill, Ralph Lauren, even Coldwater Creek. Um, whenever I see this I, I get it if it follows falls into my criteria for something to buy to resell as far as the price. Black is the one that sells the best for me. Um, I do find these in other colors but black is the steady seller for me. Uh, they're usually lined. They have a back or a side zip so make sure you check that zipper before you buy it. 100% um, Irish linen does the best. I'm not saying don't buy other you know just regular linen but this is the cream of the crop type of linen to sell and the length is either knee or mid calf usually this sells year round uh, people go on beach trips they go on cruises they live in a warm climate so you've got to get past the fact of oh this is a summer dress I can't list it in the winter if you have it list it it will sell um, I pay three dollars or less for this type of item. The average sale price is thirty-five dollars. If you find it in an extra large or a one X or higher, a bigger size than that, you may get more than that. So, larger sizes always do well for me, but I won't leave a size two behind either. So, um, if you, if it is the summer style that's sleeveless, there I've also seen these in cap sleeve and short sleeve. Um, list it year round. People in other 
other climates will buy it and if you ship international it's the opposite seasons on the other side of the world so it doesn't matter where what the climate is where you are you don't know where your buyer lives you don't know their situation so if you have it list it the next item is the classic camel hair blazer any brand does well obviously your higher end brands like Ralph Lauren and uh, maybe even Ann Taylor will sell for a little bit more because it's a more established brand but what people are looking for here is the 100 percent camel hair um, they usually are lined this even sells with small moth holes moth trails which I'll show you in a minute missing buttons small tears in the lining small things that can be repaired um, so if it's cheap enough give it a try even with a defect I will pay up to six dollars for these and they uh, sell around 40. This is a moth trail. You can see it's not quite a hole all the way through the fabric but you can see where the moth just kind of made its way along um, eating the fabric and left a little trail behind. When you see these on your camel hair blazers you want to uh, include a picture of that so your buyer will know it's on there. It's not going to prohibit from selling because people that wear these um, they have their dressy camel hair they have their casual camel hair and this is a exquisite fabric that's very expensive so don't let a few defects stop you from selling it okay the next item is the 100 percent cashmere sweater with the argyle pattern on the front any brand does well as long as it's 100 percent cashmere the best colors for me are pink and black combinations so like this one here is a black sweater with uh, the pink and gray argyle pattern I will pay up to three dollars for these and they sell for around 30 ship these international cashmere is a uh, highly sought after fabric all over the world it's very expensive to make I will do a video on that in the future um, just for an FYI but it's very expensive to make that's why it's it sells for a lot um, so when you see these with an argyle pattern pick those up another one is the zip off hiking pant these are so easy to spot on the racks when you're walking down the racks at the thrift store you can just look um, and you will see the zippers so they're they're pretty easy to see on the rack and pick out uh, good brands here are REI, Columbia, Mountain Hardware, North Face, any of those um, outdoor brands. Um, the pants zip off to make shorts. I'll pay up to three dollars for these and they sell for around 30. Make sure those zippers work. Sometimes that's the reason they've been given away is because the zippers are jammed so check that before you buy it. And the next item, the last item is plus size swimwear. I look for brands like L.L. Bean, Land's End, Miracle Suit. You want the ones that have the tummy panel, um, like the shaper on the inside. But what's done well for me are the wrap styles, like this model is wearing here, swim dresses, and separates. You can sell the skirts and the tops separately, and I do that all the time. And they sell well because most people are a different size on top than they are on the bottom, whether you're plus size or not. Um, and I'm so glad stores have finally started selling swimwear as separate pieces because um, nobody, most people are, are different size on the top and the bottom. So I will pay up to $3 for these. The average sale price is $30. And again, sell these year round and ship internationally. Um, Swimwear is worn year-round, even in cold climates. We've got the water aerobics and, you know, all these classes in the water now. We've got the baby boomers who are getting up there. Sorry, but it's true, and I'm not that far behind. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of, uh, there's more exercise classes that are in the pool. So this is very attractive to people whose joints hurt or who have other issues that um, don't, you know don't like jogging don't want to go running or walking it's it's hard and it's painful so they are doing the water classes um, at the YMCA the gym wherever so it's hard to find a bathing suit in the middle of January and another thing that happens is uh, families 
go on cruises that's the Christmas gift to the family is oh we're gonna go on a cruise in January and where are you gonna find a bathing suit if you live in Minnesota or Iowa or um, you know somewhere that it's freezing cold in the winter it's hard to find a bathing suit locally so people come to eBay for that so just keep that in mind that swimwear is not just for laying on the beach it's um, indoor activities and indoor pools and for traveling and then for people who actually live at the beach um, it may be hard to find even in Florida some of the stores don't have swimwear in the winter time so if you have not tried selling swimwear year-round keep an eye out for it pick it up when you see it and give that a try so I want to know what kind of videos you want. What's What are you finding most helpful? How can I be of more service to you to make videos that you want to learn from? Um, I will say I'm not thrilled with doing shipping videos because that's, that's my least favorite part of eBay. And um, I'm just not passionate about teaching that. So you can look up shipping videos. There's thousands of them on YouTube. Somebody's probably already covered it anyway. So um, I'm going to decline on those requests to do shipping videos. But let me know what else you want. I want to be, I want to serve you. I want to give you what you want and share my knowledge with you so that you can be successful too. So please leave a comment about what kind of videos you want if you found this video helpful. I'm going to get back to making the shorter videos. I've had some stuff on my mind I needed to make videos about so I'm going to get back to the shorter videos for you. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share if you found this helpful and um, let me know what else I can do for you on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.